Peace, peace, good people, and welcome to my channel, Baldhead Harrifant here. If this is your first time visiting with me, thank you, thank you. Hit that subscribe button, and I hope that you do choose to stay. If you are my OGs and my returnees, then hello, hello, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your time, your attention, your support, and uh, your comments for those of you that comment, you know, and all the good stuff that comes along with um, having returnees and OGs, okay? Because I, I really appreciate you guys. I know it's been a few weeks since I last did um, a video. I've been on vacation, so, you know, us readers have to take some time out and smell the roses right and i did just that i went on a beautiful cruise to the bahamas and it was absolutely wonderful so i am back and i am ready to channel you guys some ooh, 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 channel you guys some information that is resourceful informative and hopefully it'll help you you know figure out you know if there's any stagnancy or anything you know that you need to know hopefully this reading will bring it about right so let's go ahead and call in the spirit of love, life, light, the spirit of accuracy, and the sweet spirit of honesty. Thank you for using me as a trusted and true vessel to bring about a message for the collective. Shame. Um, as I was saying that, I heard the word grounding. So I'm not sure if somebody is grounding right now. Maybe you are out in nature with your phone and maybe sitting somewhere and, you know, just mentally grounding. Maybe somebody's just finished physically grounding. I don't know, but I just heard the word grounding. Heard the word grounding, okay. Did somebody just come back from maybe visiting um, their motherland or come back from visiting something that made you feel connected or made you feel, um, did you just come back from visiting your mom? I don't know, I don't know. Just the word grounding just showed up in my mind's eye all right i don't know who this message is for but if you are here then that means that the title pulled you and the message is for you okay i don't know what the title is but i will once i get the cards down and you know get some of the messages channeled in but again if you're watching this then that means you were pulled in by the title all right, let's lay <clears throat> the first three cards, <clears throat> excuse me, and see what is going on here. I do not read reversals unless I am guided to. So, so far, right off the bat, immediately out the gate, we have three major arcanas. The Hierophant, Ashe, the Chariot, Ashe and the hanged man, okay? Now, I have Taurus energy here. I have Cancer energy here. And for me, the hanged man can sometimes, well, and, and this is my opinion, but it can sometimes represent Pisces. It can sometimes represent um, Gemini. Now, that is my personal opinion, not every reader reads the same and not every reader picks up on the same energies when it comes to the cards but that's that that's the energy that i receive when i choose um i'm sorry not when i choose when the hanged man does choose to show itself okay so i'm gonna have to pull more cards because that's very intense that's very heavy energy just right off the gate okay um i can say that there is um maybe um uh, someone is or is being encouraged to um, go and seek some type of wise counsel, to go speak with someone. There is someone possibly um, in your, e well, no, there, <laughs> I was about to say somebody in your immediate area that could have some information for you, but they might not be in your immediate area, but I do feel like that there is someone that you have come across, whether you know them, whether you've seen them on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, there is somebody within, they've already been placed on your path and they, and they are someone that you need to go speak with. Okay. I think maybe you've been skeptical about speaking to them. Okay. So this could, I could be speaking to someone who is thinking about getting some type of spiritual counseling, some type of spiritual guidance from someone, some type of, or uh, maybe a reading, but it is someone that you are 
um, that you may have already had your eye on and you're thinking about or be or are being encouraged to <clears throat> reach out to them because there's some information, some type of guidance, some type of um, help that they may have for you, okay, or that they do have for you. Ashay. All right, spirit, show me more. Show me more, show me clearly. Ah, another. <laughs> and it's going to be, listen, all four major arcanas, my goodness. Um, you're going into a new season of your life, okay? Something is something has ended, something has closed, and now something is... Um, something is uh arriving there is something new there is something there's a new chapter a new season opening up for you okay hmm so far this feels it feels good but it feels shifting like going from one extreme to the next whatever it is it's about to be a big change like maybe somebody's getting ready to go from being single to married okay like you've been single a long time and uh someone new is rushing on in and 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 it's not gonna go from it's not gonna be a um it's gonna go from single meeting someone married okay very quick energy and it, it is not gonna be forced upon you it's gonna be something that you want to do okay whether it's a marriage or not um just because I have to say this, because even though I don't read reversals, I'm very aware of what reversal energy does mean. So <clears throat> this could also mean that someone is about to get a divorce, okay? Um, you've been married a long time, okay? And something is about to switch up for you. There is some type of decision you may have made um, to get a divorce, okay? And it could have been... Um, a decision that you came to on your own, okay? Um, maybe you went and spoke to someone about this. Maybe you got counseling about, you know, the, getting the divorce. Maybe the other person, the other, you know, the the, the husband or the wife um, doesn't know that you want the divorce, but you know you want the divorce, okay? So again, this could be talking to someone single, wanting to, about to go get married or somebody who's been married, who's about to, you know, get a divorce, okay? So just place that energy if it belongs to you and where it belongs, okay? But either way, either way, this is going to be a um, life-changing decision that is about to be made, okay? And, and, it's, and it's going to open up some doors. It's going to open up and unlock a chapter of your life that you've never experienced, okay? Never, ex oh my goodness, Another, these are all major arcanas, you guys. Can you see them? Let me just show them really, really quickly. Hierophant, Chariot, Hanged Man, The World, and now The Moon. Okay? Wow. So Pisces energy is most definitely here. Okay? Pisces and Cancer. Pisces and Cancer. Okay? We know that the moon is governed by cancer, okay? Um, the moon is cancer's overlord. In the tarot, the moon is represented by Pisces, okay? And the chariot is represented by cancer. So again, a lot of Pisces, cancery energy here, okay? Now, with this moon card coming up, something, ten something tends to be, be, something's coming to light. Something has come to light or something is coming to light. Something that was hidden, whether you uh, were aware that it was hidden or you purposely hid it. You know, it, it, this could be some information. This could be some type of emotional, um, some type of emotional download that you received. Um, just something's coming to light. Now, we are upon a full moon. We have a full moon within the next day or so, a full moon in Aquarius at that. So th th some type of new information may have or will be coming to surface, okay? Now, this goes right along with the fact that I feel like I could be speaking to someone that's about to embark on some type of a uh, new journey okay and and this this it's it, it, it's almost like you call this 
you called this energy in, okay? You called this energy in. It is something that you want to do. That's why I said that for those of you that may resonate with the divorce bar, this isn't a, oh my God, this is a, I think this was a, a decision that you made and you just maybe, you know, um, begin to gather the information. And, and it's not information necessarily that maybe someone was cheating. Or no. I think, it just sounds like somebody is ready to be free, okay? Because there is a new chapter, some new things that you want to do and you know or you're making the decision that someone that you're currently with can't go with you, okay? Now, for those of you who have been single, you're making the decision that I've been single all this time and now I am ready to share um, this, this season, this new chapter of my life with someone, okay? So you may receive the information that it's time, meaning uh, your guides and your um, ancestors or, you know, whomever you work with from a spiritual standpoint may have been guiding you to the fact that it is time for you to link with someone. It is time for you to unite, okay? And you are. And, and a lot of times when that's the message, there's already someone in the surrounding. There's already somebody on the path. So as I, you know, as I said earlier, that I could tell that I'm speaking to someone that there may be a message or maybe some type of information available to you and, and you, or you, you may need to go speak with someone or you will be speaking with someone and these someones are already on your path. You know, they're already somewhere around you. This is not a brand new energy. They're either already on your social media. You already work with them. You already know them or know of them or have seen them somehow, some way before. There's, it's not a brand new new person. It's an energy that has already um, been around you, even if it's just through social media, okay? This reading is getting very interesting. My goodness. All right. The Two of Swords. Now, <clears throat> this is letting me know that there's going to be a decision that you're going to have to make, and you're not going to know which which way to go okay a lot of times this represents blind faith just you know um not having any clear understanding of what's going on to the left no clear understanding of what's going on to the right so your intuition is what helps you make this decision your intelligence um and you're not going to be able to make this decision with your eyes with what you see you're going to have to make a uh, uh, intellectual decision because you don't have any 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 physical evidence or any physical tangible thing to see or to hold. Everything is going to come from you um, making a intelligent intellectual decision. Okay, whatever whatever this decision may be. Okay, but there is a decision that will have to be made. Okay. The Ace of Earth, um, Ace of Pentacles. Now, this is, and why did I just hear, who sings that? The start of a new romance. Is that Lady Gaga? Wow. So, but that's what I heard as I was laying the Ace of Earth down. Uh, start of a new romance. Um, place that energy where it belongs. It could be somebody's song. Maybe you just heard that song. Or it could have everything to do with this reading. And maybe some of you are at the brink of a new romance, right? But the Ace of Earth is letting me know that you have been granted some type of material force, some type of some type of prosperity. Um, with this, though, with this with this Ace of Earth, um, what I like about the Ace of Earth is it doesn't take a lot to maintain the blessing uh, that comes from the Ace of Earth or the Ace of Pentacle cards. There's just a practicality that needs to be. Um, you need to be consistent with it. So it is something that maybe you're already doing or you're 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 being encouraged to do to do to maintain this um this blessing. Because the ace of earth is a blessing. Matter of fact, anytime the aces show up, the ace of swords, the ace of wands, the ace of cups, the ace of earth, anytime the uh, the ace cards show up, that's a gift. That's a blessing. That's that's you being handed some type of mental force, some type of um, emotional force, some type of um, uh, um, um, abundance, some type of um, it's just being given. Okay, whatever suit 
that comes along with that ace. If it's the ace of pentacles, then you're being given material force. If it's the ace of swords, you're being given mental force. If it's the ace of cups, you're being given uh, 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 emotional force, right? And if it is wands, then you're being given... Um, 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 like an enthusiasm and an and action-oriented force, right? But in this case, with this particular um, reading with, with the Ace of Earth, you're being granted some type of abundance, some type of... Um, material gain and you're being you're being told that the way to maintain this gain is going to be by doing something very practical so some of you some of you all may be practitioners um some of you may be good with um this feels like I'm speaking to somebody who's in the craft, right? So maybe you work with herbs, okay? Maybe you're an, an herbal uh, wizard or witch, so you work with that, or or you are a oil um, person, aromatherapy type of person. It's something that you're already very good at that you're being encouraged to um, either continue to do or you're being encouraged to level it up because that practicality, if that if if that is your practicality, um, that's what's going to maintain this Ace of Earth energy. Now, those were just two examples. Your practicality, you, you could be a practitioner of anything. So whatever you practice, whatever you are a practitioner of, place this Ace of Earth energy in that energy, right? Because whatever it is that you're you're good at doing, that's how you're going to maintain <clears throat> um, this gift that's being gifted to you. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see more. The five of fire. Now, this is an indication that you may have some type of um, competition around you, okay? There could be... Um, there could be some energies around you that and I don't want to say they're hating on you because that just sounds so immature and and very um juvenile right but for the lack of a better word you just could have some haters that are going to pose some type of hassle which is going to make you um become a uh, you know very defensive so I'm just hearing you know to guard your um you know, guard your energy, protect your energy, okay? Um, it, it's stand your ground, okay? Stand your ground. Now, only because I feel like if, if, if you don't battle through this five of fire and um, listen, because there may be someone okay this this is very specific thank you because i'm getting a very specific download for those of you who are at a, at the start of a new romance there may be someone who wants the person that wants you okay so there could be some not pushback from the person that wants you but just they could just be distracted by that person that wants them, right? And it's going to pose a problem <clears throat> in the building of what you and this new romance, you know, could have or or are going to have. So I'm being encouraged to tell you, don't let that competition or that um, that person, you know, that negative heavy energy that's going to come from another being don't let that detour you keep your eyes on the prize because you've been chosen by this person this person wants to start something new with you so you are the person that they want they can't help that the person um you know that the person that other person wants them and i don't know if this is an ex that wants them back or another person that they maybe used to deal with in the past or a brand new person that, you know, I don't know. I just, and I don't even think that because it feels like spirit is telling me that that's not even important because the person wants you. Okay. So you, <laughs> that's why, you know, I, I, it tickles me when, you know, I see people doing these love spells and all of that good stuff. And I'm saying, honey, it doesn't matter because if you're not the apple of that person's eye, your love spell is not going to work. People want what they want and you can't force them to want you if they don't want you. 
right? Love spells only work when the person already uh, has a desire for you. Then you can intensify that desire and it's things that you can do to, um, you know, horn, horn in on, you know, the energy that they already have for you. But if somebody does not want you, oh, honey, your love spell will backfire, okay? So anyway, um, but this person wants you. But there is a there is someone in the vicinity of that person that wants them that may try to pose a problem. So just be prepared um, and don't be detoured or ran off by their energy because you've already won, okay? You've already won. This just might this just might be a test, okay? Oh, okay, that was a lot. <laughs> All right, spirit, show me more and show me clearly. Show me more and show me clearly. Okay, it's a bit. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's. I'm unpacking it, but it's a. It's a big, beautiful reading. If you are resonating with it, please hit that like button. I want the card to burn up. See, I knew it. Look, look two of water. This person already has chosen you. The, is somebody in your, in your, and of course, I'm still talking to those of you who are at the start of a new romance or about to meet someone or, or, you know, <laughs> maybe you are talking to the love of your life and you don't even know it. Okay. You just think that they're a coworker. You just think that they're a stranger. You just think that they're a Instagram follower, YouTube follower, you know, you just think that they're just, you know, a old mere mortal, right? You don't know that you're speaking to your forever person. And this is how they feel about you, okay? Um, they are they are ready to share their cup with you. Um, and they don't want anything from you other than um your heart, right? They don't, it's not like they're coming in with a motive, okay? So whomever this person is, they are trustworthy, um, they're ready. That's why I know, listen, I say, I love it. I love it. I love it when spirit connects the dots. You know, earlier when I said that for those of you who are going to um, get married, it's going to go from meeting the person or the person revealing themselves on into something very serious, possibly marriage. There's not going to be a long talking period. There's not going to be a long, we've been boyfriend, girlfriend for 20 11 years, or, 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 none of that. It's going to go from you meet the person, you understand that they're your person, they understand that you're their person, and y'all immediately go into something very serious, okay? Immediately. Well, the two of water, the two of cups is a prime indication of that, okay? This person is ready. When they come to you, <laughs> They're going to be ready. Now, the thing is, are you? Are you going to be ready? That's why I said now, that what, who, when they come to you, again, forewarned is forearmed, okay? Again, I do believe that there's going to be somebody in their past um, that's going to try to show up, or it could be somebody in their present that they're not feeling that's going to try to show up to knock you off of that of, of that throne that they already have you on. See, this person already knows you are the one they want. You're already on the throne with them. So you, you don't, it's not much you have to do. They've already chosen you. But this energy right here um, might make you, you know, question that. And, and I hope that this message lands, you know, in the hands of everybody who's approaching a new romance. So you will know not to give in to this energy. Because I feel like if you go if you go back and forth, I mean, stand your ground for sure. But if you go back and forth with this energy, it's really going to bring you out of your heart space. It's going to bring, it's going to really drop you down into a very um, defensive, um, uh, um, root chakra, unhealthy root chakra type of energy and 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 you don't have to go there there's times when you have to drop down in that root chakra right but you don't have to drop down it's like it's, it's, i'm hearing spirits say you don't have to prove who you are to this person this person already knows who you are they already want you so dropping down into that lower lower self may just may make this person say what? Why are you doing all of that? Or why is she doing all that? I, I want you. I don't care about that person who wants me that's trying to come in and cause a problem. 
I don't care about them. I'm not even feeding their energy. I'm trying to feed you. Why are you arguing with them? So anyway, if you if you understand what I'm saying, just know you don't have to go back and forth. Now, of course, you, you know, they're not going to put their hands on you. You handle what you got to handle if they come up, you know, if there's some type of physical attack. But if it's only verbal, you know, let it ride. Who cares? Because the, they're only mad at you because who they want don't want them. Who they want wants you. And that's beautiful, right? All right, show me more and show me clearly. <clears throat> this the storyline is very um it's very clear, okay? So you'll know if this message is for you. Cause I'm gonna title this. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm definitely gonna title this um reading something very specific and detailed. So if you are here, it's because the title pulled you and you were supposed to be here. Now look at that. Queen of Earth. That is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, okay? That is earth element energy. So I could be talking to an earth sign. I could be speaking to someone of earth sign energy, okay? Capricorn, Taurus, um, Virgo. Taurus is here twice. So most definitely speaking to Taurus energy, okay? It's not just for Taurus, but if you are a Taurus, I am most definitely speaking to you, okay? Because your energy is here twice. So means that you need to listen <laughs> closely, Ashe. I say just like Cancer's energy is here twice and Pisces energy is here twice. So there's a lot of there's a lot of double energies here, okay? Which means you just need to listen very closely. Oh, okay. Show me more and show me clearly. We also have two sets of twos. Okay? So that uh that again um lets me know that I'm speaking to um somebody who is who is uh going through a um you approaching not going through you are approaching some type of partnership it's partnership energy okay it it is unity energy it's the coming together of the divine feminine and the divine masculine so this story is most definitely about partnership relationship um and again for a few of you it could be the dividing of the division of it doesn't feel like i'm speaking to a lot of you who are divorcing but it does feel um like that could be you know a, a few of you guys are divorcing but you're not divorcing under bad or negative pretenses you're divorcing because there's a new chapter right there's a new chapter for you that you um, are embarking on. I don't know if that new chapter is about another relationship or if the new chapter is about being single so you can find you, so you can connect to you, so you can connect to your own divine feminine, divine uh, energy, uh, divine feminine, divine masculine energies, okay? But e either way, if, if it is a divorce, for those of you that's resonating with the divorce part, it's not, it's not a... Um, bad romance even though even though that was the song i heard caught up in a bad romance i think that was the song i said um but even if it is even if it is you have recognized it acknowledged it and decided to activate your power to leave it so either way that's still a wonderful energy because you're not staying stuck in a cycle that's trying to end you're not going to loop in it you're jumping off the roller coaster because there's another ride you want to get on right a whole nother chapter a whole nother ride another book okay that you are trying to write so that's a wonderful that's a wonderful thing to me i at least i feel it is anyway because who who people people who tend to stay stuck in things because they fear jumping out of a cycle or jumping off of a roller coaster um I don't know. I just, you know, I don't, I don't trust people who are comfortable staying in uncomfortable situations. Okay. So kudos to those of you who are uncomfortable and it's empowering you to jump out and do something new. Okay. All right, spirit. I'm not going to take those, but I will take, uh, I will take, what did I say about that ace energy? So some of you are getting that some of y'all are getting the strength to jump. I literally just spoke about jumping off the roller coaster. Some of y'all are just now. That's what some, listen, the divorce, those of you that are here because I said the word divorce and you're not divorcing because, you know, for no other reason, you're only divorcing because you are ready for something different, ready for something new. And a lot of times that something different, something new is personal. Okay, it's spiritual. It's something that you are doing for yourself. So it's not because you don't love that other party 
anymore. It doesn't, it's not because you hate, you know, your mate, none of that. It's simply because you yourself are dedicating um, your life to you, okay? And I feel like if I'm, for those of you who are on the divorce part, you've been married a long time, okay? And that long time, that's, that's, that's you know, you, you, that's relative. You have to put that where it belongs. To me, five years might be a long time. For you, you could have been married 15, 20, 30 years. So just whatever long time means for you. But either way, you're breaking free and you're getting the energy to do so. You're jumping off the roller coaster and you're being granted um, a very enthusiastic jump. You're you're being granted ambition. You're being granted the um spot net the the spot the spontaneous energy to do this, and it's fearless. Okay, now for those of you um, who resonate with that part, this is happening right now. This is happening right now um, in this fire element season. Okay, so some of you, you made the decision since the Leo season started to jump ship. Like, oh, nope, it's my time. It's my time to go. It's my time to go. <laughs> All right, show me one more card, Spirit. I want to conclude this message. I feel like I've unfolded quite enough for you to know if this message is for you and what you can look forward to if it is for you, right? The eight of earth, getting back to mastering something that matters to you, okay? Now, I know this, this card here, it goes right along with those of you who are leaving something, leaving a marriage, leaving a long-term relationship, just divorcing something that you've already been doing that's no longer um, relevant. It just doesn't work anymore. You have no more need for it. Because you're getting back to something that you may have started um, before you got into that relationship, before you got into that marriage, okay? There was something that you probably were doing, something that you were focused on, something that, and it was for you, right? Well, uh, you were being inspired to leave, you know, said person, said relationship, said marriage, and jump straight back into that, that mastery and finish mastering it, Okay? Because I believe you were, before you got distracted with love or before you um, decided to, you know, move forward in a relationship, a partnership, a marriage, there was something that you were doing that made you feel um, accomplished, but you put it to the side to nurture a relationship, to nurture the marriage, to nurture love, right? Well, for those of you, you're being encouraged to get back to that thing because that's where your fertile grounds are, okay? I am not going to pull any more cards because, again, I know that I have unfolded this message in its entirety. So there's enough information here for you to know exactly what it is that you need to do, which spectrum of this reading you fit onto, but congratulations to everyone who uh, feels their energy in this reading, because this, again, was a big, beautiful reading. It was a, re it was a reading of elevation. It was a reading of sovereignty. It was a reading of freedom, and it was a reading of love. For those of you who've been single, who's about to enter into a uh, new romance, um, congratulations, and may it be fruitful, bountiful, abundant, prosperous, and safe in its entirety, okay? And for those of you who are leaving a relationship, may your walk back into singlehood, back into sovereignty, um, may it be peaceful, may it be, um, um, may you receive the insight that you need so you can move forward and closer to things that will help you feel whole again, okay? Thank you so very much for watching this reading in its entirety. May you receive all that time and energy back tenfold. This is where we part. Namaste.